Okay, with the chassis complete, we're going to begin making the cabinet. Now I've went by the plans and just cut four pieces of, uh, this is actually just some uh, pine lumber. You can really make it out of whatever you like here. And I just cut the four pieces of the basic box uh, to the size according to the plan. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark each end, the ends that are going to be joined together. I'm just going to go like A, B, C, and D so I know which ends are going to fit with the other ones. Do this for all four corners. This amp does have some weight behind it. It'll probably weigh around 40 to 50 pounds easily. Um, so I'm going to put some finger joints in here uh, to make this joint a little stronger than if it was just an actual butt joint where the two pieces butted together without any uh, other type of fastener. Now I'm going to clamp these together, the two A parts, and I'm just going to take a square. And I'm just going to make some uh, marks here where I want my joints to be. And you can measure these out if you like. You just kind of want to equally space them. And then I'm going to transfer those same marks uh, down the length of the ends. Or the width of the ends, I should say. You can see how I've carried them across the corner there. And that, I'm going to cut those out and leave the remaining unmarked ones. Okay, before I do that, I'm just going to mount that up and draw a line so I'll know the thickness of the board. That's how deep I'm going to make the cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and on the other board, I'm going to do the opposite. Where I left it on the other one, I'm going to take it away on the other side. So you can see there where I've cut those out. And then I'll cut the, mar the ones marked X there. So these two can fit together. This is a fairly simple joint, but it does give it a little more surface area to glue and uh, makes it a stronger joint. And you can see that you just want to go ahead and fit these two together once you've got them cut. You might have to do a little uh, chiseling out there just to make a, a real nice tight fit. And then do that with all four corners. Until you've got this basic box shape. And then go ahead and glue it up. Uh, I've went ahead and put some uh, straps on here to clamp it together. And I'm just using a basic wood glue. And then as you do this, make sure that you've got your corners square. And allow it to dry for 24 hours. Okay, now we're going to move on to the, uh, the speaker grill. And I've cut that shape out and I've put a center line down the length of it. And then I also divided it uh, by the width as well and found out where I want to put the speakers, uh, where they're going to mount at. And be sure and leave some room on each side. Uh, you're going to have some strips there where this mounts into the box. You need at least three quarters of an inch or about 18 millimeters uh, on the outsides for that to work. And here I'm just going to mark where those holes are. And 
and then I'm going to draw those lines in and connect it so that I kind of have a center point of where the speakers are and then I'm going to just measure the inside of the speaker remember that little outside edge there we want wood underneath that the only part I want exposed is the actual speaker cone itself so go ahead and uh, take a compass and take that measurement the diameter and cut it in half and that'll give you a radius that you can put on the compass draw your circles out and then take a jigsaw or whatever tool you like and uh, cut out those uh, circles make sure your speakers fit over those properly and you can see here how once we have that mounted just the cone itself is going to be exposed Okay, now I'm going to go in and mark the actual holes for the bolts that mount the speaker to the to the grill. And now I'm going to put some T-nuts in where those are. And those T-nuts will work with the mounting bolts that will fit in the holes here. And this will actually be on the front side of this board do the same thing with the other side there and then I want to take some uh, this is called quarter round um, you can find it just about any hardware lumber center and I'm going to uh, put this along the outside edge and wrap it all the way around this kind of creates a, a raised edge for the grill cloth to go on so that it doesn't actually touch the face of that uh, of that board now cut your grill cloth to where you've got a couple of extra inches um, about five centimeters on each side giving you enough room so you can wrap it around okay now I'm gonna flip it over and you want to get it to where the lines in the grill cloth are straight and then we're going to take a staple gun and be sure and make these lines straight both vertically and horizontally because as we stretch this we want to make sure they stay nice and straight and square with the board now you can see here I've I've started in the center on those two short ends and just tack that over and you just want to pull it taut you really don't want to stretch it you just want it to be snug and then once you have those two in place come back with your staple gun and we're going to start on this edge remember keep it straight fold that over staple it in place you might want to tack that in. Sometimes with uh, plywood like that, it can be a little tough to get the staples in. Then on the other edge, again, keep it straight. You want to pull a little bit. Again, make it snug, but don't, don't pull it super tight. And now you just, it's a process of going an inch or two at a time from those center staples and moving toward the corners keeping your line straight and you can see here just do a corner at a time work your way down to that very corner and then when you get to this very corner we need to fold this over so that it'll look nice And here you just want to kind of pull that taut, fold the one side over, and you, I'm going to tack that in place so it'll be a little easier to uh, handle. And then I take that excess and kind of tuck it in, and then roll that other edge over. And you kind of want to keep the corner of that nice and square. And then you can see on the flip side that you've got a nice uh, smooth corner there. Now go around and do the same thing with uh, the other three corners. 
when you're done you should have a nice uh, baffle made with your lines nice and straight all your corners are, are squared away